here to take care of things that people didn't take care of. I'm here to let you know that you're not alone. I'm here to let you know that you have strength and you are a survivor and you will overcome anything and everything. Martha B. has soul. You can hear it in her new song with Sinead O'Connor and Mary J. Blige called This Is To Mother You. It's a message she was never told growing up in New York City, lured by a pimp when she was just 14 years old. Oh, child, be a soul that we found you. He sold me a Picasso when it was really a doodle. He was like, you know, I can do this, I can do that, we can have a family, you can do what you want to do and still make money, you don't have to do much, and it was a lie. He didn't tell me that he was going to hit me. He didn't tell me he was going to throw me up and down flights of stairs. He didn't tell me that he was going to starve me. He didn't tell me that he was going to rape me. He just told me that life was going to be all grand, great, and perfect when it really wasn't. Through when your nights are lonely. Martha has come a long way since then. She's now a successful artist and performer, and she did it by working with Rachel Lloyd. Coming in here is the first time that they're hearing, you were victimized, this was done to you. Rachel started GEMS. It's an organization based in Harlem to help young women recover from scenes like this. Tell them what you want to do. I want to be with the fan, but I can't f***ing What can you do to make daddy like you again? Amen. Case closed. This is provocative video obtained by the group of pimps on the hunt for young girls like Martha. You hardly understand who you are as a preteen, more or less who you are as a sexually exploited youth. You don't even know that you're a sexually exploited youth. You don't know who you are. It's, it's, it's a real lonely feeling. It's estimated that 200 to 300,000 Young people are at risk all across the United States. How do you get that number to zero? I think beginning to change our perceptions about who these young people are and beginning to recognize them as victims. I think addressing the demand side, the fact that if there are potentially 200, 300,000 young people who are being bought for sex, who's doing the buying? Beginning to recognize that men in our communities, men in our families, men in our workplaces are buying sex. Um, and often buying sex from children, I think, is critical. And I'm glad that I am a survivor. I didn't think I was going to be able to see my 15th birthday, and I'm sitting here with you at 21. So it's a blessing. As long as I wake up in the morning, I can take it from there. You know, I remember a gun jamming at my head. So for me to wake up is a blessing all within itself. <laughs>